girl injured when her arm got stuck in the door of a green line trolley. And tonight, as she recovers, that T operator is off the job with an investigation underway. Let's go live to Julie Lonchek, who's in Boston tonight. Julie, we know you spoke with this little girl who was injured. I did. I spoke with her mother as well. The mother is absolutely furious. She tells me she has a bad knee and says, therefore, it takes her a little bit longer to get off the train. She says it's never been a problem until yesterday. This is very, very negligent, plain and simple. Matzia Felt and her daughter Faith were taking the Green Line home Monday night, as they have many nights. But when they try to get off at Calm Ave and Harvard, Faith almost made it off the train. Matzia did not. The doors closed and her motherly instincts kicked in. I'm fighting with the umbrella trying to get the door to open, and she's on the other side, not noticing. I didn't notice that her arm was there. It's afterwards, after the fact, I saw it. She was like, ah! She started yelling and screaming and holding her hand. The eight-year-old had turned around to reach for her mother, unaware the doors would close. She says she and her arm were stuck for a minute. It really, really, really hurt. Once off the train, Metzia says she called to the conductor. He just said, sorry, closed the door, and kept on going. The Brighton mother stopped a second conductor who called an inspector. Faith was taken to St. Elizabeth's where doctors determined she had torn ligaments and muscle. Let's just say, suppose I didn't have the umbrella to stop the, 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 the door from closing completely. completely. She could have been dragged. She could, that could have, any number of things could have happened. The T is now investigating. I'm very angry, extreme, because it, it, it didn't have to happen. So that T operator is off the job pending the outcome of this investigation. Faith is sore, but she should make a full recovery. We're live in Austin, Julie Lonchek, WBZ News.